T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Yay. Thanks to Matt, the bot supplier, for lending this to me to review. This is 30's MDLX Bumblebee, which is basically a stylized version of G1 Bumblebee. Mostly G1, but it has like little aspects of all the other different Bumblebees and has the this looks like the Bumblebee movie font, but this is not what he looked like at all. There's that. This right here. This on the back. And this right here. Here's the top. You know what's funny? Even though I said for lending this to me and all that junk, somebody's going to be in the comments like, Oh, you finally got them. Oh, oh. All right, I'm taking a break from my SH Figure Arts, which I planned on that being like a whole week thing because I have a whole bunch of SH Figure Arts. The Amazing sent me a care package of figures that I, I want to review, but my views on my last two SH Figure Arts are straight up dumpster water. I put them up at a weird time, but still, I don't know if I'm getting new, more views later, but yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going to bring it back to Transformers since that's that's the thing on my channel, I guess, besides toy hunts. But anywho, expertly painted and detailed. I like this way more in person. I didn't care for it so much because he's just straight up all yellow. But it is an awesome figure. And we're going to be seeing more of why it's awesome. I mean, some of this panel lining might be a bit too much because it makes it kind of look like a cartoon in certain areas, like it's cell shaded. But then in other areas, it just looks like weathered on detail. But here's his face. It's kind of like a little bit of an overlap on in the center of the eye, like it's two blue lenses. He has, oh yeah, I didn't, I also didn't like the horns so much. I mean, Bumblebee has always had horns, but they're the same color as his head. It just looked like regular head detail, but on him, it's like bull horns. And when I think about that, I think about Cliff Jumper because that's the style they went with Transformers Prime. But yeah, outside of this, he comes with some accessories. Like this gun holding hand and the gun, which is gun metal right there. There's like a little tiny pinhole right there in the barrel. I don't know if anything could fit in that. But this is stylized and different from the gun he came with or he, any type of gun he came with. And he also has two of these more open splayed hands, I guess for cupping the gun. And no, he does have two trigger hands, by the way, so you can make them left or righty. And outside of this head, he does come with a secondary battle head, which has the d dumbbell joint right there already attached. And it goes in there, and it goes in easy and comes out easy. But here is the battle mask, which is reminiscent to his original G1 toy face. Which is cool, but let's get to the articulation. And I think this can come off, but it's, it doesn't come off easy. So I'm not gonna even bother with that. It was already on in the package. But maybe I'll, I'll look at the instructions and see see what that tells me. But anywho, the head is on a dumbbell, so you get the tilts and whatnot, and. He's looking up mostly with the actual base of the neck articulation. But you can get a little bit more depending on how you bend that. And that's good. But yeah, it does rock some on that dumbbell. The shoulders. There's a butterfly. And this is very stiff. Then there's a hinge right here. And another hinge right there. Or actually... Is this on a ball joint? Yes, yeah, on a ball joint on this. But that's really stiff and it has a hinge so you can go even further out. But when you bring it down, it will be like this until you shove things back up. You get a bicep rotation 
can get more than 90 on a single joint. No, no, that is double jointed. It didn't look like it at first, but it is moving independently right there. Then this hand is attached to a dumbbell joint. So it can move up and down and it can move all the directions <laughs> and the hand moves on the ball joint. I kind of don't like that as much as I like a universal joint, but whatever. Over here in the midsection, you get back due to the ball in the waist. And you get some forward due to that. You get some side pivot and you get rotate. But there's a dedicated ab crunch. And you can see kind of the windshield wiper detail. If he did transform, which this doesn't. But you get a nice ab crunch in. It separates like this on the back. Which I always like little details like that. Go back. Oop. Well, here we go. Dumbbell joint. These crotch skirts can lift out of the way so you can kick up more than 90 degrees and go back the butt skirts don't do anything and you can kick out to the side but every time i watch people review this they made this seem way more complex or like it has to be folded out this way for you to have to kick up <laughs> you do not have to do that you just kick the leg up there's double jointed knees there's rotation in the hips and the ankles it's like it's two hinges right there so you can move a little bit but you can move on a secondary hand so yeah you can get that far forward this far back which is a lot with that hinge and it can rotate a bit before you get stopped and you get ankle pivot but you can move it out there you get decent ankle pivot and i believe no, I was just messing with the masterpiece. That's why I'm thinking about that. And he has a wheel in the foot for fake kibble. It does roll. It appears to be hard plastic. And here's the detail on the bottom of the feet. You get the 3-0 and Hasbro. Bumblebee is a spy scout. Here's him tiptoeing with these open splayed hands right here. I had him like originally like something like this. I didn't feel like fighting with getting the balance, which I can do, but yeah, there we are. I figured I'd show this since his arm came off while I was trying to get him posed, but this appears to be like a metal dumbbell joint, and there is some like molded in detail right there. I showed him with the gun in the right hand earlier. Here it is in the left. Yeah, here he is using using pretty much all the joints so yeah it's really cool i like it the joints are stiff and i don't have too much of a problem like pretty much at all uh it can be difficult getting the legs or the ankles posed because of the way the body is designed it's not going to be like super easy you got to really work with it to get things not bumping into each other the crotch articulation which i thought was going to be a problem is not and it goes back very easy. He has a nice ab crunch, nice arm movement. Like really, it's, it's like really good and super easy to pose. Here he is up against a straight up masterpiece version right here. Um, This isn't kind of level, let me move it over. But he's still shorter than the masterpiece bumblebee the original masterpiece bumblebee is probably that this tall so he would be taller than that i broke my rule i would break that out and i haven't mentioned that this does have die cast in it i think that shoulder joint is die cast and has various other things that may be die cast in there but i can't really tell so i'm not even gonna lie here it is next to a six inch action figure i have on hand and a couple of deluxe transformers right there. Oh, well, yeah. I like it. If you like what you see, and I believe it retails for like 60 bucks or whatever. If I see it on Amazon, I'll put a link for where you can buy it on Amazon. If I don't see it, you won't find that link in the description. <laughs> but, yeah. I like them. I really like it. 
Um, I'm cool with both of these faces, but my friends tell me they like this battle mask face better. But yeah, I think they both look good to be honest. Yeah, yeah, I can't complain. They have an Optimus coming out. In fact, it might already be out. If I find the link for that, I'll put the link for that in the description as well. Anyway, thank you for watching this. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really.